All right, number eight. Find theta if sine theta is square root of three over two and tangent theta is less than zero. Now, we're gonna use the hand trick for here, but I'm gonna talk us through where, what quadrant we know our answer is gonna be in. So, and the way I'm gonna do this is by this. The sine here is positive. Now, according to A, S, T, C, all students take calculus, we know that sine is only positive in the all and the sine quadrants, meaning I can't have an answer from here. Now, the reason why, if you wonder why is that, is because sine is y, and if y is positive, then our y's must be up high. So it's somewhere in one of these two quadrants we'll get our answer. This says that tangent is negative, because it's less than zero. Well, tangent happens to be positive, in this quadrant, right here in the first quadrant, so that can't be a solution. That means the answer has to be over here. So somewhere over here, we're going to be able to come up with a value that we could draw a triangle if we wanted to and solve. We know that the y, it says it's square root of 3, and the h is 2, because remember it's y over h. That's how we get that. So square root of 3 over 2. It wants us to find the angle here. So how do I find? that angle, well, I'm going to use my hand trick, all right? So uh, here, what I would do is I'm going to take my hand, and since it's normal sign, I'm looking at the palm of my hand, and, oh, I'm sorry. That was if I had the angle. I don't have the angle, so the way I'm going to solve this is I'm going to use the inverse. So I would flip these two around to switch the spots. You do an inverse. So we'll say sign inverse. And now we can flip those. That's an ugly inverse. Let me try that again. Sine inverse is square root of 3 over 2 would equal our theta. So I'm going to look at the back of my hand now that I'm doing inverse. And I'm counting side lengths. But side lengths of back of the hand. I need three fingers on top. One, two, three. And so I'm counting from the top because it's a Y. So pinky, ring, middle finger. I'm going to bend my pointer finger so I have three on top and a total of four fingers, which should give us a two when you take the square root of it. I flip my hand back over and I realize my index finger is the same thing as pi over three. That is pi over three. So theta is pi over three. Now here's the deal. Um, to pi over three, if you just use left your answer in this form, it would not make tangent negative because this is in the first quadrant. We got to put it in the second quadrant. What would we put it in the second quadrant? Well it's almost one whole pi. Think about it. Pi, if it's over here, this is almost one whole pi. It's not quite one whole pi, but it's almost one whole pi. One whole pi would be the same thing as 3 pi over 3. So if it's a little bit less, the answer is going to be 2 pi over 3. You just take one away from the denominator. So that's my answer on this problem. It would be 2 pi over 3 because at that spot, sine gives us a positive square root of 3 over 2, and tangent happens to be negative.